Hey going there folks, Paul Bars signing back in for another video in these WordPress video tutorials. We're looking at installing the themes. Currently I have this theme called Black Lucas installed. It's there, it's, eh, you know, it's okay, but I wouldn't be using it for any kind of business website, that's for sure. Let's look at installing another one because my goal is to have this website look very, very much like mypoolbars.com and mypoolbars.com.au website. That's the, the theme which I use across the board. A couple of ways to do it. I showed you before that we can search for various things and you'll find, you know, hopefully one that you like. Another way is you can upload your theme and that can be obviously off the hard drive. Could be a theme you've purchased, could be a theme you've found elsewhere and you simply browse and upload such as I have here at Expert WordPress is the one I want to do, but it needs to be in a zip file. Now I could zip it up, or I could simply just show you another way of doing it, and this will work at all times. Here I'm in my FTP program, File Transfer Protocol. I'm going to navigate into, I'll show you where I was before that. This is the public HTML area. Okay, I need to go into my WP, WordPress content, into my themes area. This is the one here, and I'm going to simply now upload a complete folder, and that will enable me to have the new theme there. Let me just refresh this first. Okay, that's now refreshed. You can see that it's been updated to include the, the current theme. So let me upload this one. It's on my desktop under theme I'm going to upload this whole folder called EWP expert WordPress and that'll go no need for you to watch the whole thing but it will create for me a new theme and then we'll activate that and then I'll show you what to do with it let's take a quick pause while it does this back with you very very shortly okay you can see here I've now uploaded that Here's the expert WP WordPress. I've also uploaded another one called Secret Vault, which I'll use for some demonstration purposes shortly. And to illustrate things, if I come back here now and hit the Browse button, go over to, are we there already? I'm going to upload this one here, Sales Page Header by Upload. Okay, so there's some different ways that we can uh, upload and install our themes. And I'll give you an idea of what these each look like. And return to the themes page. Just have a quick look to see what we've got. Current theme installed, Black Lucas. Scrolling down. This is the blank sales page theme with header, which I uploaded. This is the expert WordPress one, which I uploaded. And also over here, the secret vault. Now, none of these are activated at this point of time. They're just there. Same as the old 2010 one, which was the default install. So let me give you a very quick idea of what each of these will look like. Let me activate the, uh, the blank sales page theme. There we go. It's now the current theme. If I come back up here and just move this over, hit refresh. We can see what this looks like. Not much there, is it? Place for a header, place for some text. No menu bars, nothing down the side. Great for a sales page. Here's another one. Scrolling down, the secret vault. Same thing, I'll activate this down the bottom here. This is very much the same kind of thing as this, except it already has a whole bunch of graphics built into it. Let's have a quick look. There we go. Now, of course, you can change all these things. You can make changes along the way so you can see how this thing would work out. Okay? But the one I want to be using, and you'll understand why shortly, is this one here, Expert WordPress. Now, I particularly like this because I've worked heavy and hard to customize it myself. But it's a great little theme, and you can't get this one free. It is a uh, premium theme which I use then as the base model for all of my websites. This is what it looks like when we start out. Okay, not much there. Agreed? Certainly. This is what it's going to look like. Very similar anyway, when I'm finished. 
And you're going to watch me do that whole thing along the way. All the posts, pages, connections, headings, etc., etc. Okay? That's just going to give you some idea of what we can do with this theme and how we can change it and what you can do with any theme, really. So let's take a break and we'll come back very shortly. Actually, no, before I finish that, I, I should just answer this one question. What do we do with the, the themes that are left that we don't want? I don't want Black Lucas anymore. And if I come back to my FTP program and I refresh this, we'll see that we have, okay, Black Lucas, all right, 2010. I, I don't want them anymore. So I'm going to delete that one. Gone. I, don't, I just don't want my server getting cluttered up with crap that doesn't need to be on there. Okay, the 2010 one. Now, I don't know. I, I, I've, you know, I've been told that this one shouldn't be deleted because it's somehow booted in with the whole thing. So I'm going to delete it and see what happens. I don't think it'll make any difference because it's just a theme, nothing more. I should go back now and refresh my website and make sure it's still there. Of course, I've got this particular theme activated at the moment. Of course, it's still there. So the thing is, the themes that you're not using or that you're not going to use, I'll be using these ones later on to show you a few different things. This is what you do. You simply delete them. Okay, that's it. Paul Barr's signing off. Talk to you again shortly. Bye-bye.